Lisa, Baz and Sam at 92.9 for Blueprint Homes. This is an incredible story. Okay, so there's a guy who is only 27 years old. He lives in Melbourne. He founded his own online electronics company called yeah. Kogan Technologies. Yeah. Can I just add, yeah. Sam, that he was also, he made last year's BRW's yeah. Young Rich List. Yeah. And he has an estimated fortune of $15 million. Wow. So think He's about this guy. He's a successful guy. guy. He is cruising. He is set up for life. He's done yeah. so well for himself. Brilliant. At the age of 27, $15 million is the estimated worth. Mm. He's one of those guys that takes an interest in other areas and is fascinated by business. So he thinks to himself, you know what? I love McDonald's. I love the brand. I mm. love the success. And I really want to know what makes a big company like McDonald's tick. Yeah, right. So his decision is, I'm going to apply and just try to work at McDonald's for a little clever while. Clever idea. Yeah. Very clever. He applies for McDonald's uh, at... Elston Wick. Elston Wick in Melbourne. He goes in there. He fills in the nine-page... <laughs> app- Who knows that there's a nine-page application? Didn't yeah. know. Awesome. McDonald's. Didn't know. High standards there. Filled that in. Waits. Waits a little longer. Waits a little longer then receives, thank you for your application. Unfortunately, at this time, your application to McDonald's in Elstonwick has been unsuccessful. Isn't that incredible? A guy worth that much, with that much knowledge and experience, rejected for a basic job at McDonald's. Well, you, you've got to ask why, don't you? That's I why mean, we've got him McDonald's on the line, know what they're doing? Oh, that's we why. We say good morning to Ruslan Kogan. Hello, mate. Good morning, guys. How are you? Ruslan, well. we are, we're surprised, we're taken aback, we're shocked, which is why we've got you on. Ruslan, do you have any idea why McDonald's, Elstonwick have rejected your application for employment? No idea at this stage. I did reply to the email that said, you know, you've been rejected, all the best for your future endeavours. And I said, <laughs> hi guys, I, really, I would really like to improve. Uh, could you please give me some feedback <laughs> about my application? Yes. Uh, but I haven't heard back from them at this stage. So, Ruslan, how far did you get? Did you, did you only get to step one uh, or did you make it a little bit of the way through the process? Now, you apply online, so I went onto the website and I clicked on careers and said, yes, I want a job. And then it was about a, it's a nine page application and they mm-hmm. ask you all sorts of questions and scenario questions and things like that. I even went through the lengths so of, I got my HR manager at Kogan to come over and said, hey mate, can you look over this? Make sure that, you know, I've put in a good application. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, yeah, 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 it all looks good, all looks <laughs> good. And um, yeah, so I was a bit shocked. One of the worst rejections I've ever had. So, I mean, is that true? We've heard the estimates that your your worth and your company is worth around fifteen million. Is that true? First of all, oh, my grandmother says I'm priceless, so <laughs> I reckon they're, they're undervaluing me a bit. How no, long so. were you genuinely, you know, considering if you got the job working at McDonald's, and were you happy to do, you know, the fries, the the drive through, all of that stuff? Yeah. Ha- Happy to do absolutely everything. I even put in the application. It's a 24-hour, 24-7 Maccas. So I said, um, you know, I'm willing to work at any time, the night shifts, day shifts, weekends, whatever it took. I wanted to increase my chances of getting the job. So, you know what, um, Ruslan? Yeah. I am fascinated to know what the 16-year-old girl who works in McDonald's just down the road from me has mm. over you. I really, I'd love to know how she got a job at McDonald's and you didn't. Yeah, I, I'd love to know as well. So I've sent them an email to see and, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what they said. But, you know, I was really dedicated and motivated for it. I would have taken, you know, unquestioned instructions and mm. done exactly as my manager told me and, um, you know, would have been hard to stay away from my phone for every single shift, but I would have done it. <laughs> Ruslan, you're obviously a very successful businessman. You, you've got how many people do you employ, mate? Uh, just over thirty. Oh, I reckon you know the reason, and I reckon I know the reason, and I reckon we all know the reason. How old are you again, mate? Twenty-seven. That's the reason, isn't it? No, <laughs> let, let's be honest. That's the reason, isn't it? Because at twenty-seven, they would have had to pay you the rate for a twenty-seven-year-old, as opposed to paying the rate. Mate, he could buy that McDonald's I know, franchise. I know, but Ruslan, is that what you started to suspect that it's all about the rate that they're going to pay the young kids as opposed to having to pay somebody in their later 20s? I'm not sure. McDonald's is one of the organisations in the world that I respect the most. And I know, I think it's actually illegal to discriminate on age for employment. So I doubt they've got policies like that in place with the recruitment. Well, um, maybe not yeah, formally, just- but you know, you for no apparent reason have had your 
uh, application rejected. You can only, you know, two and two. Well, the other, four. see, I, I heard a, a mention one of the one of the news services covering it said McDonald's released a statement suggesting they're fully staffed. So maybe that was one of the other areas. We don't know. We don't. We don't actually well, know the, we, the, the answer. You, well, you know what we should do. We should see if we can get on, you know, past employees in McDonald's and find out what they've got over Ruslan. Yeah. You know, and how they got in. And no, Ruslan, really, I think we should do a call out, like maybe that. even keep you on the line just so you can hear. Um, so let's do that. All right, thirteen ten sixty. Ruslan, are you able to hang around for five minutes? Yeah, yeah, happy to do that. What we will do at the end, Ruslan, we will give you a chance to live your dream. We'll let you pretend that you're chatting to us in the McDonald's drive thru at the end. Yeah, okay. Good work. Oh, excellent, excellent. 131060. If you've ever worked for McDonald's here in Perth, What's it the could process? have been ten years ago, whenever it was, we want to know how you got the job, what yeah. your qualifications. Maybe you're working there now. 131060 and more with Ruslan after this. Lisa, Baz and Sam at 92.9. Uh, we have a great story about this guy, uh, Ruslan Kogan, who is a millionaire. $15 million is the estimated worth of this guy. He's yeah. 27. He set up a great electronics retailer, Kogan Technologies. And he applied for a job at McDonald's. He wanted to get in there and see what makes the company tick because he loves McDonald's. Missed out on the job. We have Ruslan still with us, and we're going to take your calls on 131060 to find out how you got your job at McDonald's and what the secret is. But... Ruslan, um, have you thought about uh, what you what you did wrong? Um, well, yeah, the the rejection was a bit bitter. So <laughs> as soon as I got it, I was like, "Well, what could have I what could have I done better?" Because it's the first job I've applied for in five years since I started my company. <laughs> what what did you Kogan. list as your previous experience? Uh, previous experience, I listed. There's a few other businesses I have, like Milan Direct, which sells furniture. So I said I work there, answering phone calls. All right. And and I uh, put our operations manager as the contact, and but he never even got a phone call to see whether I'm a good worker or not. All right, Rasan. Well, look, we've got you on the line, and we want you to stay on the line. But we've done a call out for ex McDonald's workers, people that have been employed there or maybe still employed there. And we want to know, what's your secret for getting a job? People that have made the grade. Yeah, yeah that's right. Because obviously, Ruslan, you haven't, unfortunately. But <laughs> Katie and Apple Cross, Katie, you worked at McDonald's. How do you think yes. you got in? Well, I, I applied 30 years ago and I had just been swimming. My tail, looked like, my hair looked like rat's tails. And um, I just walked in and said, I like a job. And they said, yes, no problem. <laughs> Simple as that. Wow. What, what, what Did, are the tips then, yeah, Katie? Yeah, what was your key? I think you have to front up. Oh, go in yourself rather than do uh, the online yeah. application. Well, I guess they wouldn't have had online apps back then, would they? But thank you, Katie. Peter in Safety I Bay. Actually, sorry, go on. Sorry, guys. Rosalind, go for it. Yeah, I, I actually did that. I was in the store at 3 a.m. on Saturday <laughs> yeah. um, after a big night out when I got the idea to get the job <laughs> and I asked them. They said, you've got to do it all online, but maybe it's the pigtails that I don't have going yeah. on. Yeah, and there. also, <laughs> was like, maybe they made a note of you, the fact that you were asking at 3 a.m. for a job. <laughs> yeah. So they've thought, mm -hmm, <laughs> if we get online application well, from this guy... Day. You yeah, may have well, been blacklisted after that exactly, moment. Exactly, Ruslan. <laughs> uh, Peter is in Safety Bay. Hey, Pete. Hey, how you going? Well, what did you do to get your gig at McDonald's? Well, I was pretty much in high school back then. I was just pretty much uh, eager to do anything. So I just uh, got the application form and uh, sent it straight in, and they just called me in for about, uh, the interview. Yeah, maybe Ruslan has to travel. Maybe he has to come to a more emerging market for McDonald's. I mean, yeah. Ruslan, would you be prepared to come over to WA and give it a crack <laughs> if we could find you a job oh, over here? Based on the weather we've got in Melbourne at the moment, <laughs> I'd do it in a flash. Ruslan, we, we could have a little bit of good news for you because Robert <laughs> has called up from Bicton and he... He's a has franchisee. A, has a, he's a franchisee, and I believe he may have a job offer for you. But um, Robert Ruslan's on, on the line. You can talk directly to him if you like. Yeah, Ruslan. Um, yeah, just come on over. Uh, we'll give you a job. Um, no, normal, normal criteria, obviously, is that uh, you're in uh, year ten or eleven. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I'm 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 flexible. Um, you uh, can... I'll, I'll start using a bit of moisturiser to, to youngen the skin up a bit, and I'm checking out on Google Maps how to get there right now. No, hang on, is this serious, Robert? Do you actually have the um, the power to to offer a job, even if it's just for you know a part time or, or something? Do you have that power? I have the power. Well, which which store, uh, Robert? Adelaide, are you able to one? say? Sorry. Which store are you able to say? Um, no, I can't. I can't. Fair enough. But it is but a you are but it is a bona fide McDonald's store. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look, Robert, just while you're on the line then, because obviously you've only heard about Ruslan, you haven't seen his application, we just want to give him a little bit of a drive-through test yeah. and you can get an idea of his personality and, you know, how quick his skills are, I suppose, you know, on the phone. Is that all right, Ruslan? Yes, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay, all right. So we're so imagining we're, that, you know, Baz we're in is a car. Driving. No, we'll, yep, Sam, Baz, and I, we're in a car. Yeah, we go anywhere together. And we've together. just pulled up <laughs> to your drive-through window. Good morning. Welcome to McDonald's. How can I help you? Yeah, good start. Okay, yeah, mate, uh, <laughs> I'll have a Big Mac uh, value meal, um, large fries. Sam, what are you going to have? Oh, I'll have a um, cheeseburger, but with no cheese and no burger. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we've got our breakfast menu till 10.30 a.m. <laughs> oh, oh, hey! That was a trick question and he got that it. Good. What do you reckon, Robert? Oh, that was trick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll, we'll tr- because we do such excellent customer service, let me speak to the kitchen and we'll see what uh, we can do. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Robert, Ruslan, thank you for your time. We'll let you guys sort it yeah, out yeah, off the air. Exactly. I'm sure that's to be continued. Yeah, but to how good is that? Yeah, Lisa, well Baz, and Sam. Absolutely brilliant. Coming up just after seven, Adam, Richard, and Adam, I thought this might